Cameron County officials have different opinions about border violence, but they do agree that the drug cartels outgun them and outman them. And education officials say they're getting some of their men right here from our own Valley schools. It's a disturbing trend that Valley educators have seen increase. More children coming forth about concerns with violence linked to drug cartels and ongoing border violence. UTB professors say even children have taken notice of the vicious attacks and gruesome images constantly on the news. Shootouts, mostly, um, decapitations. Some of the older children are taking notice of the glamorization of drug cartels as their violent acts are sometimes described in narco corridos. We might be creating a perfect storm in a community that has um, a very high level of unemployment, very high level of poverty, and a, a community across the bridge that has increasing amounts of money. Says vicious crimes related to drug violence here have been isolated, but it's up to law enforcement and the DA's office to keep it that way. Anytime you hear of violent crimes and you see what's occurring in our neighbor to the south of Mexico with these mass decapitations and mass graves, sure, people are afraid. They're afraid that they can't be protected.